Hey, what's going on everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel today. So today we're going to be going ahead and getting right back into Cthulhu Saves Christmas because I really think we are actually getting very close to the end of this game. Uh, I don't have the green screen up today because I was having issues with the lighting. It's a whole long process and I just did not feel like dealing with it to try and you know get it just, just perfect because it was a pain in the ass. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into it here. Uh, we're going to jump right back in because where we left off last time is that we'd actually just defeated uh, Mari Lude. Uh, I believe that's how you say her damn name. Uh, anyways, though, we're going to go ahead and get into it here. And uh, we're going to see if we can't just save Christmas and rescue Santa Claus. Uh, so let's get into it now. Let's go over to the mall again and see what kind of jobs they have for us on there for this one. Cthulhu decides to go back to the mall. Just the sepal pod that I was hoping to see. Today's one of the biggest days we've had all year. Customers packed in so tight that you couldn't swing a dead cat. Why are you swinging a dead cat around? I bet I could manage it. <laughs> You've messed up every job so far, but this one is easy. Even enough, even you can't botch it. You're going to be running security. Sit in this office, watch the cameras, press this button when you see a shoplifter. Got it. Ah, oh, I get to catch shoplifters. You'd better. I'm on thin ice with the higher-ups for hiring you. Oh, who am I kidding? They don't care. Cthulhu gets himself situated in the guards' room. Cthulhu sees a shoplifter, but is so fascinated by his inept attempts at hiding the merchandise that the button remains unpushed. Another shoplifter appears, but they take one of those dolls that goes to the bathroom. Wait, what? Another shoplifter appears, but they take one of those dolls that goes to the bathroom. Oh, okay. So he figures that his punishment is enough. An honest shopper proceeds to pay for all their merchandise. Cthulhu pushes the button to amuse himself. <laughs> Day turns into night. Good work. I never would have caught people flat. I never would have caught the people you flagged, but every one of them was guilty. What the fuck? <laughs> What? Well, I mean, of course they were. I was kidding. You were wrong every single time. Take your paycheck and get out of my sight. Cthulhu got plague tunic. This armor for Cthulhu boosts poison damage. Ooh, nice. Oh, you're still here? Change that. It's now Christmas Eve the 24th. Well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and equip that armor real quick. Let's go see what the post office has. You came just in time. We're shorthanded up front at the desk. No time for training. Good luck. Hello, I'd like to buy some stamps. Sure thing, that'll be a million dollars. Are you sure about that? Quite sure. That seems expensive to me, but I really do need these stamps. Here you go. Thank you for your business. Next. Where are my stamps? I said next. I'm going to need to talk to your supervisor. Do these look like talking to supervisor conditions? I've got a building full of customers, a trader on the inside, and a package that needs to go to Toledo, and that's not even our, in our dimension. So when I say next, I mean next. Got it? Customer throws a knife at Cthulhu's head as he leaves the building. God damn! Unfortunately, no one in Cthulhu's party can equip knives, so it's not added to the inventory. <laughs> The rest of the day passes in similar fashion. How many knives did you have thrown at your head, bro? So how was your day? The customers were the worst. So needy. So demanding. Tell me about it. Post offices used to be more focused about mail. Now they're all about customer service. Check out what I found in the unclaimed bin. It's all yours if you want it. Cthulhu gets a bomb. The item deals fire damage in combat. Yes! I get to throw bombs at people. End of my shift. See you next time. It's now Christmas Eve the 25th. How many Christmas Eves are there? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go check out Bell's Nickel and see what he's up to. Cthulhu decides to visit Bell's Nickel again. Cthulhu, just the person I wanted to see. Here, help me with this. Help me break this pork rib. Right, and then you'll just accidentally whip me while I'm trying to reach for it. No thanks. Perish the thought. The break into this pork rib is, solemn ev is a solemn event that is completely unrelatable to whipping. Fine, I'll break your pork rib for you. Make a wish. I wish that this game was over soon so I could destroy the world and rule the apocalyptic wastelands. You weren't supposed to say your wish out loud. You got the short end, but don't give up yet. There's still the toss segment. Huh? 
On the count of three, throw your piece of the rib as far as you can. You're making this up, aren't you? One, two, three. What was that? I said throw the rib, not drop the rib. It's really slippery. So do I get my wish? Let's just say that you should cross your fingers and hope that the game didn't just go up in difficulty. God damn it. Fucking. As Cthulhu is about to leave, Bell's Nickel makes a wish and an accessory appears. Cthulhu got sweet candy. This accessory for Bell's Nickel boosts his stats. That is now Christmas Eve the 27th. Cthulhu wakes up to the sound of silence. Cthulhu, it's horrible. Everybody's gone. It's a snowman's land out there. Not everybody. I'm still here. I mean, the NPCs, the townsfolk, they're all gone. The NPCs. Guess that's it for relationship building. And I was having so much fun. I was having so much... Blah, 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 blah. I was having so much fun having point I feel like they have too many havings in there having conversations with losers no there are plenty of pointless conversations yet in store for you fuck fuck then it doesn't feel like this is the end game this must only be a temporary setback the city feels so empty without the sound of carolers singing we can make our own carols I really think we should stick to the time tested classics I'll start Chickens love Christmas. Chickens they do. Bok, bok, bok Christmas. Bok, bok, bok presents. Um, I'll go next. Toss out the candy. Look for the kids. When they grab the candy, you hit their shins. Damn, he's violent. Please stop. My turn. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, we all love Cthulhu, he sleeps in Ryla, and when he wakes our flesh will burn and we will learn the joy of Christmas Day. I don't think that's how Christmas girls go, Cthulhu. What on earth did that have to do with Christmas? Joy of Christmas Day, flesh burning, Cthulhu, how can I make this any clearer? I thought it was a neat song, boss. At least someone here appreciates quality music. <sighs> I don't think anyone's coming to attack us today, so let's turn in early. Sleepy time! It is now Christmas Eve the 28th. Cthulhu wakes up feeling cold. Even for him, and Cthulhu feel always feels cold. I feel cold even for me, and I always feel cold. That's what I just said. Don't steal my lines. The city streets are frozen over, and the whole place reeks of death. The fifth league of Christmas Evil member must be out there somewhere waiting for us. But who could it be? Allow me to explain. Wait, Cluck Cluck, you talk? Uh, Cluck Cluck, you're talking? In this dimension, chickens talk. A happy coincidence in an otherwise miserable world. This dimension? You have been brought to a pocket dimension that mirrors the world you know, but is emptier, darker, eviler. Ah, yes, a little chickenier. The people you know and love remain safe, but only if you are able to prevent this dimension from spilling into reality. How do we do that, Cluck Cluck? You must defeat the ruler of this world, Bell, before it grows too powerful for this dimension to contain. Bell must be the fourth member of the League of Evil Christmas. Bell is the world ender. He will ring the note that will shatter existence if given the opportunity. Beware the carolers and their song. Each accursed, each accursed note that they charge grants Bell more and more strength. If Bell becomes too powerful, the world will be destroyed and there will be nothing anyone will be able to do to stop it. Not on my watch. Nobody destroys the world except me. Let's do this. Thank you for your help, Cluck Cluck. I love to serve, little miss. Alright, let's get, get a good random battle in at least, though. Just to see what we're dealing with here.
Well, I gotta say, these little fiends that are coming up right now are actually pretty tough. Okay, so those things are actually pretty tough as far as fiends go, for like random battle fiends at least. I think we found the boss, because nothing else stands out in this image to you other than, you know, those things right there. Huh. That must be Bell. Really? What gave you that idea? Bill is a giant Christmas bill? A little on the nose, don't you think? There's two of them. This is bad. Bell has already begun to multiply to f <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am Bell, before the Deep Ones. I was before the Great. Or, oh, sorry. I am Bell, before the Deep Ones. I was. Before the great old ones I was, I am eternal. When my note rings out, nations fall, dimension shatter, existence breaks. Don't let its appearance fool you. It's just trying to stall for time while its power increases. Like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. Fa la 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 la. Smash. Smash the bell. Silence the bell. Oh no, the bell. Here comes the bell. Oh, I didn't equip the fire damage one. Damn it. And we're just going to make sure we poison the other one too. All right, we're going to do earth damage all right there though. All right, as long as they're both poisoned, they will drop quicker. That's all that matters is getting them down. I love the battle music that they have on this though. It's legit. Oh, 699 for that hit point. That was legit. All right, now we just got to get one more down because we've been concentrating on the other for so goddamn long. Ooh, nice. 395 for the hit. Dark damage. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Eldritch Power. That one took a little bit longer. Took a little bit more planning. I actually had to do some healing on that one. Next item used is free. Ooh, nice. No new abilities learned. That's fine. I am Bell. I am eternal. I was eternal. Where's my grandfather? Where's Santa Claus? Not here. The other three, I mean two members of the League of Christmas Evil, know where he is kept. You have bested me, sleeper of Ryla. You fought well. Perhaps you are the chosen one after all. Always bet on Cthulhu. Achievement unlocked for whom the bell tolls. Bell tolls, uh, bell fades away. You did it, Baba Yaga. You really did it. Uh, sorry. You did it, Baba Yaga. You really did it. Yippee! With Bell defeated, this dimension will not last much longer, and when it's gone, you will return to your own dimension. But what about you, Cluck Cluck? What will happen to you? I will once again lose the power of speech and become just a regular chicken. Don't say that. You're no ordinary chicken. You're my best friend. You are too kind, little miss. I have so many questions I wanted to ask you. What's your favorite color, your favorite number, your favorite food? I like yellow, the number 10, and the Mouse King was most delicious. See, these are things I didn't know. If only we had more time. We have all the time in the world. I will remain forever in your head, little miss. Cluck, cluck. Ba. And back to a chicken. No. Bobby Yeager cries for several minutes. Cluck Cluck looks for worms. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> yes, I have to be strong. 
for Cluck Cluck's sake. It is now Christmas Eve the 29th. A powerful blizzard pummels the town, preventing anyone from going outside. A roaring fire, a cup of hot chocolate, a book of ancient curses. This is perfect. What could go wrong? Um, you have a book of ancient curses. Maybe that could go wrong. Nah. Absolutely nothing. Seriously? You're going you're not going to do that switcheroo thing you do? Hey, I'm snowed in too. Take a day off. You deserve it. I do deserve it. The day passes uneventfully, the blizzard subsides, tomorrow will be an ordinary day. It's now Christmas Eve the 30th. Let's go see what Crystal's up to. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Crystal. Let's go to the beach! During Christmas? Cthulhu and Crystal go to the beach. No one else is there, because they're going to get hypothermia if they touch that water. The waves here are so high. My hometown of Ryla emits a lot of energy into the surrounding waters. It's almost like having a hot spring, but in the ocean. Maybe I'll go in for a dip then. Good thing I brought a swimming suit. I wouldn't do that. Ryla also admits a good deal of toxins into the water. It's quite poisonous to most life forms. Blech. No swimming for us then. The animators who no longer have to draw alternate character art are grateful. <laughs> Let's make some sand castles. The trick is to get them a little wet, then freeze the water molecules. Crystal quickly manages to build massive sand castle. Cthulhu becomes disappointed in his slower speed and gives up. I've had enough of this. You just need practice. Here, let me show you. Time passes, followed by more pa more time passing. See, you built a great sand castle. People who patronize the great Cthulhu regret it. So tell me about Ryla. Not a lot of sand castle building there? What's there to say that hasn't been sung about in a let uh, length in an unholy script? It's underwater wet and full of non elucidant space. Most people don't last 10 minutes before going completely mad. I'd like to see it one day. You know what? I'd like that too. Really? That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Literally ever. At all. At any point in time. No, seriously. I think going mad <laughs> would do you a world of good. <laughs> I take that back. You're a jerk. While building sandcastles, Cthulhu found a long lost weapon hidden in the sand. Cthulhu got Blazing Sword. This weapon for Cthulhu boosts his fire damage. And it's now Christmas Eve the 31st. Okay, so let's check out the soup kitchen. Cthulhu decides to go to the soup kitchen. Welcome back, my brother, to our humble refuge, to the downtrodden. Here, take this seat by the fire. Don't mind if I do. Let me pour you a bowl of stew. Give it a try. I made it myself. Hmm, not bad. Has a bit of a kick. Yes, this will do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to attend to the others. Take your time. I'll just help myself to another bowl. Cthulhu, what are you doing here? Just enjoying a comfy chair and good food at non-existent prices. What are you doing here? I'm helping with the poor and the needy. That's what this place is for, not the, for the moochers like you. I'm no moocher. I'm just eating food without paying for it. That's good business sense. That's the very definition of moochery, you big moochy moocher. Tread carefully. You wouldn't want to say anything you'll regret later. I know just the solution here. You're going to pay back this establishment for the food you took. Fine. How much can one bowl of soup cost? $10? They don't need money. They need volunteers. You're going to come back here tomorrow and help out. Cthulhu, help out for free? That's ridiculous. Show up here again or else I'm crashing this game. You wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? I had one array of bound error and this whole video game will end up saves deleted, game over. I would m jump inside this game and murder this bitch if she deleted all the hard work that I put into it. 
Fine, for the good of the players, I will give in to your ridiculous demands. Cthulhu sees a pile of clothing next to a take me sign. Cthulhu got a fur tunic. The armor gives Cthulhu defense against cold. It's now Christmas Eve the 32nd. Jesus Christ, how many Christmas Eves are there? Alright, let's go ahead and head back to that graveyard where we saw the one person. Cthulhu decides to return to the graveyard. There are still gravestone messages that he has not read yet. Cthulhu begins to read. I swear to God, if this is all I'm going to do, it's going to be pointless. You're Cthulhu, right? I'm October. It's the woman from before. Today is your lucky day. For it is indeed I, the mighty Cthulhu. But please, no autographs or flash photography. Can I ask you a favor? Of course, but I'm intrigued by your boldness. Continue. Can you teach me how to raise the dead? Now that's an interesting request indeed. Well, I've always said the world could use more zombies. I'd love to. Wait, zombies? No, I meant a full restoration from death to life. That's not possible without the eldritch arts. It's zombies or nothing. Well, I suppose I could learn about zombie summoning. I'm supposed to be a necromancer after all. Cthulhu spends several minutes discussing the proper summoning techniques, feeding, and general care of zombies. Thank you for your help. Maybe I'll have a chance to repay you sometime. Payment is nice, but just the thought that there might be more zombies around is reward enough. I love those creepy guys. We'll meet again. Farewell. Oh, and head back to the graveyard before you go home. You'll find something useful there. Cthulhu heads to the back of a graveyard, uh, heads to the back of the graveyard. Hidden behind one of the grave markers is a treasure chest. Cthulhu got a swamp dress. The armor for Bobby Ega boosts her poison damage. It's now Christmas Eve the 33rd. That's ridiculous. There is way too many Christmas Eves in this game. Let's go check on Baba Yaga and her chicken house. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Baba Yaga. Vroom, vroom, vroom! Look how fast I'm going! Baba Yaga is poking her head out of the window as she... As she is riding her hut around the area at surprisingly fast speeds. I don't even need Cluck Cluck's help now. I figured out an alternate touch-based method. I guess for chicken-based prop uh, propulsion system, it's okay. If that's the way you want to be, then I challenge you to a race. Chicken Hut versus Cthulhu. I accept. Cthulhu always wins. See the tree on the hill over there? First one there wins. That tree? No, the one way back there. Oh, so you mean that tree. No, that's too far. This tree, then. Yes, that's the one. All right, don't cry too much when I beat you. Three, two, one, go! The race is off. Bobby Yeager is in the lead, followed closely by Cthulhu. This is followed with Baba Yaga in the lead, followed by Cthulhu, which is followed with Baba Yaga in the lead, followed not so closely by Cthulhu. <laughs> <sighs> Slow down so I can win. No way. Chicken power triumphs again. Hey, why are you sitting down? The race was rigged. Clearly pitting an old man like me against brand new against a brand new house was an unfair contest. If you say so, boss. Hey, don't be like that. Here, have a trophy. Cthulhu receives a trophy with a chicken on it. It says, Consolation Prize. Wow. Where did you get this? Custom made. I have it lying around just in case I get into a chicken contest. It happens more often than you'd think. There's something in the trophy. Cthulhu got a freaky sword. This weapon for Cthulhu allows the terrify ability to be reused. Nice. It is now Christmas Eve, the 34th. Brr, it's so cold. So much snow. This is nothing. Why, when I was a youngin', I was running through sky-high snow, barefooted both ways in the snow. Both ways? Keep your glory days stories to yourself, old man. It's not definite, but... Do you have a lead on the next League of Christmas Evil member? Just a hunch. All snowstorms that affect Christmas land originate from the Christmas caves in the far north. If the Christmas caves are generating an abnormally large number of snowstorms, that could indicate something amiss there. Weather. Hmm. We're basing our next dungeon choice on the weather. She's not wrong. Gee, thanks, narrator, for making me look really dumb. That was sarcasm. We're going to a really cold place, Cluck Cluck. Are you going to be warm enough? 
Mama! You heard the chicken. Let's go. It's now Christmas Eve, the 35th. It's cold, crazy cold. Huddle in a corner and wish for death levels of cold. And an, an ordinary party would be dead at this point. But this is no ordinary party. You got that right. To the great Cthulhu, this is nothing. I laugh at such feeble attempts to at death by freezing. I'm the snow maiden. The cold never. Don't you dare finish that sentence. Affects my core temperature or well-being at all. Gee, what did you think I was going to say? I'm not bothered by the cold. These clothes may look raggy and hobo-esque, but they're actually quite warm. And I have the power of the chicken. I'm fine. I don't know how chickens were immune to freezing temperatures. Wait a second. You're right. Chickens freezing cold. What was I thinking? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Cluck, cluck. I'll whip you up a heat spell for you right now. Cluck, cluck. Quickly thaws. Smells like chicken. Maybe I ever did it. <laughs> Who could live in such a freezing cold place besides me, of course? I have a guess. The giantness, Grilla, has always been a fan of snow-filled caves. Doesn't she eat naughty kids? It's a good thing we don't have any of those with us. Oh. Don't look at me. Yes, I may have tried to steal presents from orphans once or twice, but that doesn't make me naughty. Yes, yes it does. But that's in the past. Now I'm a crusading avenger of justice on a quest to rescue the big guy himself. So you can steal Christmas presents directly from the source. You can't prove that. That's literally what you told us when you joined our party. Past Baba Yaga is a tricky one. You can't always trust what she says. You're not going to let her eat me, right? Of course not. It's far too late in the game to replace a party member. The programmers really don't want to go to all that bother making a new character. That's most players will never see. Exactly. I've heard that 99% of all players don't even make it past the tutorial. 99%. That can't possibly be right. Maybe if you start in a higher quality games, players would play past the tutorial. Never. Focus, people. Kid eating monster. Kid right here. As I was saying, you have nothing to. F As I was saying, you have nothing to fear. Now let's go fight an old woman. Let's try to get through here as quick as possible. I'm not trying to do battle with anybody else on the stage unless it's the boss. I swear, this is like the longest cave to get through on anything. You got a merry tunic. This armor for Cthulhu gives him some HP regen. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I think we definitely made it because, uh, yeah, that bitch is scary. Fee fi fo fum. I. <laughs> Sorry. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of a Rylan. You're welcome. The scent of my blood is a well known aphrodisiac. I never expected you to make it this far. I place good money in the league pool on Bell being the one to defeat you. That old Christmas bell from beyond time and space never stood a chance. And what's this I see? The naughtiest of all children, Baba Yaga? Y you don't scare me! Sure I don't, sweetie. Just think, if you survive this and live to be my age, kids will be even more terrified of you than they are of me. R really? You're not just saying that to be nice? Did I look like someone who's trying to be nice? You smell like chicken. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Mama? Maybe that's just the chicken I'm smelling. On behalf of Christmas, I will right wrongs and triumphs over evil, and that means you. Less talk, more eating. Eek! All right, let's do this. Fire damage in. Ooh, 440, good hit off. We're getting some serious hit points in on this chick. I mean, maybe not that, but, you know. Uh, she doesn't stand a chance at all. We are doing serious damage to her.
All right. Damn, 65,000 XP. That is freaking insane. We were literally that close to leveling up to level 26 for all the characters. 125. Ooh, Shadow Strike. Nice. Okay. Warm Wishes. Rooster Cry. Party Cure. Nice. And 125% Earth Damage with Entomb. So very hungry. <laughs> this is one kid you're not eating tonight. Where is the league keeping my grandfather? We're running out of league members to fight. The next league member is personally keeping guard over Santa's imprisonment, but I'll never tell you who or where he is. You may have defeated me, but all hope is lost. Christmas Day will never arrive, and soon all will be destroyed. Gryla vanishes. Achievement unlocked. Mother. <laughs> God, no. We mustn't lose hope. We mustn't. It is now Christmas Eve the 36th. It's been weeks and we still haven't rescued Santa Claus. Jesus Christ. And I haven't regained my powers. And I haven't stolen all the presents. That old chap must be starving. He eats billions of cookies in a single night. His captor can't be feeding him enough. What are we going to do? I don't have any leads. Gryla said the next League of Christmas Evil had Santa. We're so close, we can't give up hope now. Cthulhu, you're the last person I would expect to tell me to have hope. I really, really, really want my powers back so I can destroy the world. You're right, we can't give up. This is important. I'm sure that by Christmas Eve the 41st, I will have figured out where the last League of Christmas Evil member is hiding. It is now Christmas Eve the 37th. All right, well, we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna leave this one here. So let's go ahead and just save the game real quick. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave that one there. Anyways, everybody, I hope you are enjoying Cthulhu Saves Christmas so far. It looks like the next episode is more than likely definitely going to be the last. Uh, so definitely be looking forward to that. I hope you've enjoyed this very much so far. I know I am loving this game. I love the RPG uh, of all of it. I love RPG games. I definitely want to play some more in the future. So if you like that idea, please leave it down in the comments below. Or even just, you know, leave a like on the video if you want me to go ahead and try out some other RPGs as well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. And I will talk to you later. And until next time, bye. <laughs>